So the second area is a step up in terms of difficulty, but it's not the worst this game has to offer. Enter through the door to start the level. So on the first floor, we need to take out all the enemies here, then climb the ladder. The enemies with the long legs will often move towards you, so use that to your advantage. When it comes to the other ones that look like a UFO, you can take them out, but it's best to avoid them altogether. Continue to head to the right. We have to minimize damage the best we can as we head to the top of the dam. This level is not too bad once you understand its layout and whatnot. When fighting the Chainsaw Man, continue to hit him to keep him stunned and you will defeat him easily. Now let's head to the second floor. On the second floor, we have to head to the left. Make sure to grab half of the pizza from near the top of the screen. Now this area doesn't have an actual boss, but saving the dam is not a walk in the park either. There's eight bombs that have to be defused while underwater. The problem is, we have a time limit of two minutes and 20 seconds to get the job done. But more on this in a few. Now stand underneath the chainsaw man and allow him to fall to your level. Keep him stunned and take him out. Now get ready to fight this enemy who can blast Kai shots as well. It's probably best to hit this guy with the throwing weapon if I remember to press the select button. Alright, let's head up to the third floor. On this floor, we need to head to the right, most likely you will receive damage from the Kai tossing enemy. Anyways, keep heading right and take out the remaining enemies as you go. The upward strike is probably the best method of attacking here. Okay, so we've taken a bit of damage, but at the end of this area we have a full pizza to collect and another one of those Kai guys to take out. Use the Shuriken to make this fight easy. Now, climb up the ladder then head to the left. We have to make our way back towards the beginning. Oops. Be mindful of the UFO enemy, and when you get to this point, make sure to do the hop jump to clear the gap. Yes, do the hop jump. So now it's time to head to the second part of this area. Head to the right and take out any foot soldier that wants to smoke. When you get to the part of the wall with the hole, it's time to take a dive. We have a dam to save. Okay, before we get started, Let's talk about the controls for swimming. Use the D-pad to move the turtle in the intended direction, then press the A button to do the breaststroke. Keep pressing the A button to swim. If you stop pressing the A button, the turtle will automatically sink towards the floor. Now that we have a better understanding on how to swim, let us proceed with saving the dam. Time is of the essence here. Swim towards the first bomb to disarm it. We have to make haste and have patience at the same time. Keep going to the right and only stop when trying to avoid the electrical traps. Whatever you do, do not let your turtle sink here or it will end in an automatic death. 
keep heading to the right to locate and disarm the second bomb. When that's done, we're going to backtrack a bit and head to the opening in the ceiling. Sometimes, taking damage while underwater can't be helped. Now disarm bomb number three and then swim to the right. Avoid the rotator as best as you can and keep moving. Now here's bomb number four which means we're halfway there. Continue to swim to the extreme right for bomb number five. Once that's disarmed, we need to head up this way. Keep an eye on your health and make sure to swap turtles when you need to. Now in this area of poisonous seaweed, do your best to keep the turtle in the middle, but most likely you will take damage here. Once we get past these electrical traps, keep swimming to the right to disarm bomb number six. Also, there's a current that's pushing towards the right the whole time as you swim, so be mindful. From here, we need to swim down to the next screen. Head towards the right for bomb number seven. One more bomb to go. Here's the final area. We have to swim down and to the right. While doing so, you have to keep the turtle between the seaweed and the coral here. When you reach the end, swim up and to the left to disarm the eighth and final bomb. Mission complete.